My name is Jason Sago, former UFC fighter, third degree black belt in jiu-jitsu, and here are the first three submissions you should know from the mount position. Let's go over the first submission. This is when opponents on their back, they try to bench press you off. They want to get you out of the mount position, but they really don't know what they're doing because they shouldn't have their arms extended. Anytime you have your arm extended, you're asking to get arm barred. So we're going to stay nice and low and heavy and kind of force them to push up. If you want to just look for the control, you're going to be swimming in one shoulder at a time. When you're ready to go, you make a triangle formation with your hands, put it on their chest. As they push you up, you use that energy to elevate, get your leg over the head. So I'm circling that leg over the head, I'm C clamping the wrist, putting my elbows in together, glue this arm to your chest, put your heels down to the mat, bridge your hips up to get the finish. Number two, the head and arm choke. Here are two options to set it up. You can put a little bit of pressure with your forearm on their neck. That forces their arms to be raised up. And then we could pop that arm across. And then we're sliding our opposite hand in nice and tight. If you want to re-tighten the choke, you can walk those fingers out, making sure that bicep is right against his carotid artery. And then we're going to lock our hands in the gable vert position. Make sure you don't let them snag your leg here. We've got to make sure we're pivoting, shin going across his hips as we dismount to side control. And then from here, I like to make sure it's nice and tight. So I do a little bit of small movements, shimming out to the side, and then I engage my feet. I drive all of my weight up to finish the choke. Number three, lapel choke. So open it up, easy access to get four fingers in, and then watch your base. Because you've committed this hand, they can potentially roll you over here. So as we're on top mount, we want to make sure we stay on top mount. Use your hand nice and low to the ground. If he tries to re-roll you, check your base. Eventually, we're going to want to insert the thumb on the inside, four fingers outside. And now that I've committed both hands, I want to make sure I use my head as a post. If he tries to re-roll, you got your head on the outside. And now I'm going to separate my elbows wide, squeeze your shoulder blades together, get that finish. Thanks for watching guys. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. Also, when it comes to martial arts, defense is always more important than offense. You always want to make sure you're keeping yourself safe. I did another video on mount defense. If you haven't checked that out, check it out right here.